Okay, before we get started with today's King James Version Daily Devotional, let's have a word of prayer. I love you, Jesus, and I thank you so much how you bless this channel, how you're moving, how lives are being changed forever, and how people are just being blessed by your word. I pray that every day we would take off more of man, put on more of you, Jesus, that we would all leave today knowing more about your word than we came. The question you may ask it, amen. Today's scripture is found in Leviticus 2013. <coughs> As always, all I use is the King James Version Bible. I shall lay out some KJV upon thee. If a man also lieth with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. This is not some uh, Supreme Court jester's uh, ruling, this is not some lame uh, trampling of the Constitution like the Antichrist uh, Barack Hussein Obama does every day. This is God's law. And what's God's law say? Now, is God talking about just a couple of fr couple guys, a couple of friends that are just tired, been out playing football or been out fishing or been out playing frisbee golf and they just lay down on the grass? Is that what people think God's talking about? God's talking about sodomites. He says that if a sodomite lies with another sodomite, they've committed an abomination. And according to God's law, God says they shall be put to death and their blood shall be upon them, upon their own head. So God is saying that he personally will put to death sodomites, men who lay with men, women who lay with women. And mankind can say what they want to say. They can pass whatever kind of laws they want to pass, whatever kind of phony baloney junk they want to pass. This is what matters. This life doesn't matter. It's, it's not worth a hill of beans. When we die, that's when it all begins. Is we take that last breath, that's when we walk right into heaven forever. If we've been saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood and live the way the Holy Bible says every day, including repenting of our sins after we're saved, where the Bible says at least 250 times we have to do, or we wake up in hell if we don't do the things I said above. If you're a sodomite, if you're a liar, a thief, if you're a murderer, a rapist, child molester, whatever you are, if you're sinning, you have repenting, have been repenting, you will wake up in hell. That's God's words. It's not Paul Kidd's words. It's not your words. It's God's word. And if you want to hear what God's word says, I'll message you. I've got on a word document, 250 scripture. I've got commentary added as well. It will prove to you that you have to be saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood and repent of your sins after you're saved whenever you repent, whenever you sin. Repent. God's word says it. It's not me. Don't get mad at me. Because I, I break up your little once saved, always saved party. This is live from the pits of hell. Get mad at God. Get mad at the Bible and Jesus. Because that's their words, not mine. So if you've never been saved by Jesus' blood, or if you're a backslider who believes alive, once saved, always saved, let's have a little prayer. So you can come to Jesus before it's too late. Come back to him. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's pull that one down. And let's see what we got. I just had this somewhere. There we go. Okay, let's pray. Jesus, I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day and went back to heaven. Please forgive me of my sins. Clean my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a child of the King, a new creature in Christ. Your precious name I ask this. Amen. Next, get you a King James Version Bible. Read it daily. It'll feed your spirit and soul. Will you feed your body with food and water? Pray to Jesus every day. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk with you daily. Make sure you find a Christian church and get water baptized. Don't turn water. If you're sprinkled baptized in the past, it does not count. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Sanctify. Do this by praying, reading the Bible, living for Jesus. Take a KJV Bible to church. Preacher speaks. Make sure what he says matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out and find a new church. And lastly, very important, make sure you repent of everything you do now. Ask Jesus to forgive you with an honest heart, and he will. <coughs> if anyone would like me to pray for you, from anything from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn or deserve it. Praise the Lord. When I prayed for it, He gave it to me. And if you ask me to, I'll pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life, knowing that God will perform that miracle if it's in His holy will. And if He does, it's all because of Him. Nothing to do with me. Let's get out there, my friends, and witness to the lost and pray for them every day. The harvest is so plentiful, it's rotting in the field. Most Christians are too lazy to witness and pray every day. They're too busy in this life trying to be successful, trying to enjoy this filthy sewer hole that no true Christian will enjoy living in. Let's get out there and just fight the good fight night and day. We're at war, my friends. Let's get out there and fight by Jesus' side night and day. Take off more of man. Put on more of Jesus every day.
Love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you. I'll see you next time, Lord willing, on the next episode of True, the King James Version Bible Daily Devotional. Have a blessed night.